Hello, my name is Charlie Blevins. I'm the National Training and Events Manager here at Fujifilm Australia. And so today I'm here at Digital Camera Warehouse where we will be discussing the GFX system as a whole. Now with the photography industry, as it is going from strength to strength and with technology advancing from year to year, we are looking at this time to see what makes this camera different, especially compared to our APS-C system. Let's get into it. So a lot of us are quite familiar with APS-C size sensors, full frame sensors, and micro four thirds sensors. Now, a big question that I often get asked you know, day in and day out is, why should I consider large format? And I'm a big believer to say that when we actually try this camera out in the different fields of wedding to studio to architecture, and with the capabilities of this camera, even in the video space, we can see quite quickly the benefits of using such a vast sensor size. So let's dive into the GFX system, and what better camera to actually highlight than the the GFX 102. Now this particular camera has 102 megapixels and look at that size of the sensor. It is 70% larger than what you'd expect on a full frame camera. It, the ratio wise is closer to a medium format, however we do say large format just because of its sheer size. Now the benefits of a large format size sensor is that one, the resolution. The bigger the sensor is, the more light it can capture and therefore we're looking at higher quality images. This camera in particular has a native ISO of 80, which is quite impressive to begin with. And two, with the high megapixel count of 102 megapixels, you may think, oh, Charlie, I don't actually need that many megapixels. Well, fair enough. Get the 50S Mark II if you would want to go less in that way. But regardless of which path that you choose, you have a lot of flexibility to work with the images. What complements a sensor is the processor that is entailed with it. For the first time in the GFX system, we have equipped the X Processor 5. So what that um, empowers the camera to do is that the autofocus is pretty darn quick. It is built with AI subject detection. So just think about your animals from cats to dogs to drones to airplanes to cars to motorcycles, insects, whatever it may be, that technology is embedded in this camera. Now, in an event in Perth, I had a conversation with Russell Ord about his opinion on this camera. Now, he said, Charlie, to be honest, when I have used the previous uh, GFX cameras, like they were great for many different purposes, but for his particular case, when he's using it in a surf context where he needs to track surfers, he said that he wasn't really sold on the speed of the autofocus, which is fair enough. However, he said that after using this particular camera, uh, it was the first time where he felt in confidence to say that the autofocus was able to keep up with the paces of his daily work. Now, in my opinion, that for that to be said of someone who's a professional photographer, especially in the waters, I just think about how this could be quite effective in the many other genres where speed in motion is so important. And so when it comes to the design of the camera body as a whole, that it's the first time that we have released our own Bishamon text body. So Bishamon correlates to that language of like a, an armor in Japanese. So this camera in particular only weighs 948 grams with just the body and the battery. So weight wise, it's relatively light considering just how massive that sensor is. And for those who are rigging this camera out and you need the flexibility to remove the EVF, you got that as well. So let's go into the video features. Now this camera has 8K at 30p, 4K at 60p, and has 422 10-bit internal recording. And if that's not enough for external recording, it could go up to 12-bit with Apple ProRes or Blackmagic RAW. In addition to these features, it also has eight stops of stabilization, which is a great increase from the previous camera. And the last thing that I'll say about this camera in regards to the video settings is that this camera has F-Log2, which is fantastic because if we're thinking about preserving our highlights, you can do it with this camera. Another great feature about this camera, it has what's called Frame.io integrated in the camera. Now, what is Frame.io? Frame.io is camera to cloud technology. So just imagine that for this camera to be connected to your Wi-Fi or a hotspot on your phone, that once it's connected, that every photograph, uh, RAW files, JPEG files, the proxy video files will be uploaded to the cloud. So say that you have an editing team, they can edit those images on the go while you're having your photo shoots. Great, so that's enough about the camera. The lenses itself, we have roughly around 17 lenses in the range currently, with many lenses to come in the roadmap. And so most notably, we have released the two tilt shift lenses, which I have one here with me, which is 110 millimeter. Now what's interesting about these lenses is that there's a sensor within these tilt shift lenses. So that way as you're tilting and shifting, those degrees are recorded um, on the actual files. So you can definitely check that out on your editing software. 
Thank you so much for tuning in today. When you definitely got the time, come visit us here at Digital Camo Warehouse in Canterbury to try out our range. Have a wonderful day.